Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So sorry, my eyes just started itching the minute I press record. So I'm off to an interview at, I'm gonna say the training institute for, I'm, I'm, I think it's a few of the apprenticeships I've applied for. I'm not too sure. I honestly have no idea if I'm being honest. Um, but I've got on my little interview dress that I wear because I don't own formal stuff. Um, even though it's just at the training institute, they said it was still formal and it should take no longer than an hour. I'm like, what on earth am I gonna be doing for an hour? Um, but yes, it's just keeping that ball rolling. I got some feedback from the first interview I had at that dentist and they said it was positive. Um, but they were, they were just interviewing a few more people, which I was aware of. So, yeah, I don't really, I'm just waiting to hear back off them. I would really like that one. Like I said, it's so close to home and the money is really good for an apprenticeship. Um, so yeah, I will see you when I get out of this interview and fill you in on everything that goes down and tell you how I feel. I was completely fine at the last one. I didn't get like nervous until I was like, oh my God, I have to get out of my car now. So hopefully I will be okay. I hope my hair's like, I've been out this morning. My interview's at 2.30. So I've been out with Kirsty and her two nieces at the play area. So I just quickly got home then, got changed, put on some eyeshadow because you know, it just completes the look. I'll put my lips on when I get there because I've got a sugar donut to eat on my commute to give me some energy and keep, you know, the good vibes. You know, the sugar, make me feel like I'm in a good mood. Even though I'm not in a bad mood, but you know what I mean. So yes, I will see you when I get out. Okay, so I'm out of my interview. It ran really well, it was very informal. So basically the guy that I'd been emailing from the training institute, it was him. And he just went through my qualifications, photocopied the evidence, like my certificates, um, went through some health questions and then did some interview questions and then taught me through the course so basically he said um, when he asked why dental one of my reasons was I have my own completely just like show you my nails <laughs> I've had my own work done and I'm just really interested in it he's like oh yes I can tell I didn't think my teeth looked fake I just thought my teeth looked really like really nice natural teeth but apparently they looked fake uh, I'm not bothered and um, I tell everyone that they're fake anyway and um, basically they will send out my CV until I get a placement so I'm 100% like accepted by the training institute they just need to find me a placement now he said some of them will pay the national apprentice wage for a year some will pay more that's just something i'll only find out in interview which obviously all the ones i've applied for thus far pay more because i can't afford to survive on the apprentice wage three pounds in an hour is just not going to cover my bills so that was that um so it's just a case of waiting to find a dentist that meets my needs and that wants me and i said i was fine to commute as long as it's like worth my while so that's pretty much it i will do four days in the dentist one day at the institute and I will do four exams and then the rest of the time they will come and assess me working at the practice, which totally fine. Um, the exams are multiple choice, 
which makes it a little bit easier because I hate exams. I prefer practical exams over written, but multiple choice, you can't really go wrong. Um, and basically, as soon as I find a placement, I'll start. So I just need, I don't know, I have a feeling that I will have my injections and things after I've found a placement, I'm pretty sure. So I can't see like me having the injections and stuff before I start my placement. Um, I need to, I think he said I need to have hepatitis B and something else, but I could be wrong. Don't quote me on the injections. Um, I needed to send him my CV, so I sent him my CV over when I was in the car, and then he's emailed me back and said that he's already messaged one of the dentists which is close to my house saying like I'll get you the email um, so basically this dentist is looking for someone to start as soon as possible and they're holding interviews this week and he suggested that they offer me an interview as soon as possible as I've just completed a very very strong interview so that's exciting so they want someone to start as soon as possible so i could be starting within two weeks if i was to be successful to get that one um so has it i can't remember when my first motivational monday went live about the job stuff but i feel like the ball has just been rolling very quick so this is just so exciting i'm just at the train station picking up my dad then I'm gonna go home and set up my new baby got the XS Max my phone case is still on its way so that's annoying I didn't order it with enough time like honestly I wasn't expecting to get my phone this soon I wasn't even due an upgrade till Friday but you know swindled a good deal didn't I so that is everything about the interview and my potential future um so what i will do for you now is if you watch my video on friday i will insert some more before and afters of the transformation results from people using the coffees the hot chocolates and the tropical juice um if you've not watched that video basically it's not a meal replacement you're just replacing your costa or your starbucks with one of these alternatives and the summer body that you already have like you are bikini ready as you are don't feel like you need to like get healthy like diet whatever and this is just alongside your healthy eating in prep for that summer bod just get that bloat or lose that little bit of excess that you just can't seem to shift no matter what you do i feel you i am there um i'm going to show you some more results and um, they range from two to four weeks but if you like do smash it like after two weeks you get insane results you can paypal i will leave my contact details down below but i'm so excited i feel like i'm gonna look like a victoria's secret angel in no time and i mean if that's your goal so will you but if not if you want to look like kim K kim k you can look like kim k maybe curvaceous or you can look like kendall so i will insert some before and afters for you now if you want hair tutorials on wednesdays as well as makeup tutorials let me know send some inspo like on insta dms and i will do that I'm constantly trying to come up with new ideas but i feel like i just tend to do my makeup the same i just switch up colors so i'd rather do things that you want to see and uh, i will do a video on how i blend my hair extensions with my short hair will do that I just need decent lighting because I tend to do my hair at night time I think that's it so if you guys enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up make sure you're following both my Instagram accounts I will leave them down below um I'll see you on Wednesday with makeup tutorial hair tutorial I don't know and oh no actually it's gonna be a collective haul a bit random it's going to be a collective haul on Wednesday, but I will 
have that Wednesday and here are the before and afters of some amazing women already. Bye!